Hey guys, I have a project share and a haul today. Um, so first I'm going to show you my project. I finished my first quilt. <laughs> so um, if you watched my previous haul videos, um, you all know I got this die in. This is the rag quilt die from Sizzix. Actually it's their Fabby, I guess, line of dies. And this cuts a... Um, quarter inch, let's see, three quarters of an inch rag all the way around the square, and the finished size of the square is eight, no, six inches, but it's eight inches um, total, because the, including the rags on each side. So um, I use this to create my quilt. Here's the die, and uh, after watching a couple of YouTube videos, I, um, decided I would mark my square where, where the cutting um, pieces are and you can see there's threads in here but this I did my entire quilt and I never I didn't really have a problem cutting the um, through the fabric there were some pieces that were attached but I think that that'll happen no matter what um, so I, I took five hours yesterday to make this quilt and this is not a big quilt so um, show you what I did um, this quilt is um, six squares across and four squares down. So it's, um, if you do the math, um, a finished square is six by six. So it's not a very big quilt. It's really more of a baby quilt. I got this fabric from Patty Lang. Um, she had sent me a whole bunch of fabric and it was all Valentine related. Um, the only item that I used that was not from her was the, well, I should say there's tilde fabric here. This is tilde fabric that I purchased. Um, and I um, got a little bit of fabric from Patty that had, it was like these big squares printed on this fabric for like quilting, I guess. And it was all like Valentine related. So I looked in my fabric stash to see uh, what I had to go with along with this. And I had the tilde fabric that I wanted to use. And I purchased this other fleecy fabric from um, Hobby Lobby. This was on sale 30% off at Hobby Lobby, so I purchased this the, uh, last night. I do have a haul from Hobby Lobby I'll show, share with you as well. Um, you can see my seams are not straight. See? They don't meet. But I don't care. This was my first attempt at a, um, at a rag quilt, and I'm going to be doing a larger one, and that's the reason why I started this one first. This has been washed one time, washed and dried once, um, and we have an upright um, or a front front loading machine so there's no agitator in it. I threw a towel in there with this when I washed it and it's just basically the width that you're seeing here these three squares it's double this in width and then it's four um, across and I used my new sewing machine to do that. I did not use a walking foot because I didn't have one and I went out and purchased one today and I'll show it to you in my haul. So this is the quilt that I made. I think it turned out really cute. Um, I may take some pictures and put them at the end so you can see. So that's what I did last night. That was my crafting for last night, five hours of crafting. And here's that tilde fabric that I was using. I didn't use all of it. Oh. But um, yeah, I have some more left over for some other projects if I want to use it. So that's that. Um, so I went a couple, I went all around today. I went to Joann's looking specifically for the walking foot. Um, they had a jo they have three Joann's in my area and I went to one that was further out and then they didn't have it. So I bought some fabric there because the fabric was on sale. No, it wasn't on sale. It was regular price, but they have a half, um, 50% off coupon for it for fabric. That's regular price. And then they have that 25% on top of that. So I purchased this. For my next quilt this is going to be the back I will be using the Tanya Whalen fabric for slipper roses that collection as the front and so I'm going to be making a much larger quilt um, rag quilt um, with this as the backing and I will be putting batting sandwiching batting in between okay so I've been all over looking for stuff well because I purchased all of what they had, I decided to go to the other Joann's in my area, which I usually go to, to check and see if they had the mink stuff, the foil, and um, just um, purchase, um, actually, 
I thought I'd go ahead and purchase this die from AccuQuilt. Now, I didn't even realize this square is the same, um, is actually only a half an inch larger than the one I used. So I'm going to be returning this, but I did find their cutting mat too. I think I might return that too, because I, I might keep it for my own die, because I kind of want to use the other cutting cutting mat that I have for my paper, and then this for um, my quilting or my fabric cutting. So not sure if I'll be returning that yet, but the die will go back. It was, I used a coupon for that too. So, um, when I was at the second Joann's, I purchased some more fabric, but then I didn't realize I purchased two different colors today. So, um, because it is a quilt, the back side is going to have patches too that are different colors. So I'm going to have to plan that out really well to make sure that, um, the, the back side actually looks um, just as good as the front side does because I actually wanted to use this color all the way through and I didn't realize that I picked up the wrong color. So anyway, it's the same fabric. It's just a different color. And again, I used another 50% off coupon for that. So Joann's, uh, the second Joann's I went to had the walking foot, but it was a non- Singer brand and they wanted $69 for it and I wasn't about to pay $69 for a walking foot So I decided to go to Hancock fabrics after that and Hancock actually had other things I was looking for so um, I purchased these wag rag quilt snips and these are actually I opened it already. These are spring-loaded Um and these were 30% off, and I had a 25% coupon on top of that. So it was a 25% just like the Joann's has today. Hancock has it today as well. So I used this, um, I used my coupon for that in addition to the sale price. And it came out to like, um, let's see, it came out to nine, no, $13.12 for the snips and then I purchased another sh set of these which these are my favorite scissors um, these were 944 because they were also on sale and then I used a 25% off of that too and then the walking foot ended up being um, $17.84 and this is the brand that I purchased um, and I'm pretty sure this fits my machine they have two kinds um, Hancock has like a low shank and a slanted shank. So I'll try it on my machine and um, make sure that it's working before I have to have that for my next quilt because it's going to have the the fabric, the batting, and the, that thick plushy material you saw. I don't know what they call this cut, um, material, but it's really, really, really soft. So, and it's pretty thick. So I need, I need the walking foot for that. So that's what I got at Hancock. I went to a, um, while I was at the Joann's, the first Joann's I went to, I stopped by a stamp store in the, in that area. I'd never been to it before. And these are the two dies that I bought. Um, this is a strawberry die from Dynamics. I don't have this one yet. And look, it's even cut the seeds. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a good price, but I've never purchased anything from them before. And I figured, you know, I'd support them. And then I got this memory box die, which is little ribbons. You put stuff at the end of the ribbon. I've wanted this for a while. It was $8. And um, I also signed up for their yard sale. They're having a yard sale in May, and they have it once a year. And so I'm going to do my de-stash through the yard sale this year. Um, that gives me a lot of time to, do, to get ready for it. And I don't have to ship anything. So whatever I don't sell, I may put on my YouTube channel, but I'm not sure yet. So... Um, yeah, it was only $20 for a, a spot in the um, yard sale, and it's like the size of a parking lot spot. So it's plenty of room for what I have. I'll be able to set up a table and sell stuff at my own price because they don't actually take a cut of it. You man your table, you sell it for what you want to sell it for, and just people come and buy. So um, I also stopped at Aldi's. Um, Aldi's is, you know... A grocery store that has kind of weird stuff well not weird stuff it has groceries but it's not very big and um, I picked up some of the large laminating pouches these were five dollars a pack $4.99 for 20 no 40 there's 40 in here so this is cheaper than like going to Staples 
um, and buying. So I'll be using these for my stamps um, storage. So that's what I got at all these. Um, I went to Tuesday morning and I picked up some of these little LED lights, puck lights. You could stick them underneath the um, sh uh, underneath the countertop. They were five dollars each. They're battery battery operated LED, and you just press the press the thing and it comes on. It, it uses three ba three AA batteries, I believe. And these tilt, so um, it's not just going to be flush. You can actually angle it so that it, it um, directs the light in a certain direction. I have stuff stored underneath my craft table, so I'm going to put this light underneath there, and um, that'll help me out to see what I've got under there when I need to, to, to get stuff. Okay, so Hobby Lobby. I don't have a spot for my bag. Hobby Lobby, um, I had bought the fabric for my um, quilt from Hobby Lobby. Um, that's the reason why I wanted to go after dinner last night. And I spotted these Paper Studio Stars. They're um, regularly $4, but they were half off because those were on sale. Um, so I got two packs. And there's five, five in a pack. So I picked up those. Those are good for ornaments. I like the shape and the size. And I picked up some of the feet again. Um, those were half price because that's on sale this week. So those were three dollars. No, three fifty. Some Easter eggs, the tiny ones. These were ninety nine cents, but I think these were forty percent off this week. Um, oh, that's my husband. Um, little chicks. I like the color of the blue ones. <laughs> I think these were on sale too. Those are $4.99 regular price, but they're 40% off too. This is for my husband. And I got the glass cutting mat from We Are Memory Keepers. I purchased this because I did order the fuse. And with the fuse, you need um, a cutting mat that's not going to melt. So the glass one is ideal for that. And this actually has, um, it's 14 by 14 inches. And uh, I used my 40% off coupon on this. And uh, it's got a 13 by 13 cutting grid on it. So you can always see the grid. So with the fuse, that should work out fine. And that's made from glass. So I um, shouldn't have a problem. I pre-ordered the fuse online, so hopefully that comes in when it's supposed to. But yeah, that's my haul for today and also my project share. And I hope you guys are having a good day. We are having great weather. It's like 70 degrees here now. Um, it was raining earlier, but not anymore. So I'm happy about that. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye now.